Hello friends, welcome to Elongo Notes. In this tutorial, you will learn how to show image in Java Swing. So watch this video fully for clear understanding. Now we will move to video. Uh, actually, Java Swing does not directly support image control to show the image. If you want to show any image in Java Swing, you can choose either label widget or button widget. Okay, so this is the basic requirement. Uh, the main required class is image icon class. So this is a built-in and a complete class which is used to load the path of the input image through its constructor. Okay, and methods of the image icon. Uh, by default, uh, if you don't use the get image option, your image will be displayed in the uh, crop view option. Suppose if you want a perfect image view, then you can choose the. Uh, we need to scale. Uh, we need to scale the image using multiple option with the help of the get image method. So get image method is used to fit the image perfectly using multiple options and return the object of the image class. So this method will return the image object. Okay. This method is optional. So uh, I will show the examples in the program. Okay. And required package is Java Start Swing. This is the main package uh, to show the image in Java Swing. And target widgets. So uh, the main widget is label. Okay, the label widget will get the image from image icon class using its building method called set icon method. The set icon method will take only one argument, which is the object of the image icon class. So this is the basic requirement. Now I will show the demo. So go to your package and click JFrame option. So here. Uh, the uh, title is optional, so if you want, you can change. And simply click finish button. And this is the UI design. So based on the re requirement, you can increase the height and width because this is a free form design. Okay. Uh, if you want to change any background color, uh, so you need to add the panel object. That's why you can see the difference. That's why you can see the uh, changes. So I will drag the panel as the entire width. Now you can change the you can change the background. And in the right hand side you can see the code part. Once again. So this is the J frame. So in the right hand side you can click here, click uh, generate center. This option will show your output in the center screen. If you want, you can use. Otherwise, you can uncheck. So I simply click the options and properties. So this is the title of the J frame. Okay. So this is the preview option. Image in Java Swing, and this is the center screen. Okay. Now we need to cover this panel. And click control is for every time okay the next step is to add the label widget so based on your requirement you can add the label so I added this much just to remove the edit text option and just to change the variable name image after that Simply add one button for event handler. So whenever user press the button, it will show the image. So here you can change the button background and the font size, bold option, everything. After the get image, okay. So the design is over. So now we need to activate the event handler. Actually, there are two ways. So click the button, and here you can see the event option. So here action performed. So this is action performed. So here you need to substitute the event handler. Or another shortcut is just double press the button two times in the left mouse. It will automatically create the event handler. So here you need to write the code. Okay. Now we need to want an image path. Okay. First, I will show the sample images. So this is the sample images, and this is the folder containing the current uh, applications. 
so this is the sample images now just to copy this image and paste it paste in the run dialog and copy the path okay use a double slash this is a first step and second one is import the java x package dot star star indicates it will load all the complete classes so step one is create a object for the image icon class and attach the path of the input image to its constructor so this is the constructor just attach the path the step is over then final step is set the image to j label using the built in method set icon icon object so this is the icon object so in the go to the design and you can find the label widget and here image so img dot set icon now uh, we simply set the object of the ic to label widget because the ic contains the path of the input image now i will run the code Okay, so whenever user press the button, it will activate the click event. So here you can see the image. Okay, so this is the original image. So this is the original image, but in our application, it will crop the left hand side. So if you want the entire image in this view, we need to write small changes. Okay. so that uh, if you want if you want to fit your image perfectly you need to add this method okay get image dot get scaled instance so here you need to specify the height and width and the hints okay so here get image is actually instance method of ic so ic dot get image the get image method return the image object so in the left hand side you need to assign the image okay so return the icon image dot get scaled okay normally this method will take three arguments that is a width second one is a height and third one is a hints okay so here we need to add the width and the height okay so go to the label so uh here we need to fit the image dimension into label height and width okay so just to use img img is a label so click get height so this is the exact height of the label widget and next one is just to call image dot get width this is the exact width of the label widget or you can specify the static ranges so if you want to perfect image and width just dy call dynamically label dot get a uh, label object dot get height and label dot get width and this is the multiple option type image so before that we need to add the image uh package so image is actually found in java da awt now you can see the different options so just a type image so here uh, you can see the five different constants so you can use any one so first one is is a best option and click click the semicolon and in this line of code we changed the scaled instance that is uh, we need to fit the input image perfectly okay so this scaled method return the image icon class 
this is the new image okay image i can class actually this method returns image okay so in the next step just add image icon nc equal to new image icon and this line of code return the new image so just attach this image instead of the old one so just type iw now just remove this ic and add the new icon object okay now run this code now you can see the perfect image this is the original image and this is the perfect image okay so if you want to fit the image perfectly you need to add the extra line of code that is called as get image dot get scaled instance so here you need to add your target widget height so here our target widget is label so label height label width and the image how to fit your image so here you can find scale default scale area averaging scale fast and scale smooth so this line of code written the image object so you need to add this modified image to another image icon class that is called nc and it finally just add this modified icon to uh, label widget using set icon method so this is the modified code okay so if you don't use this option the image will will be displayed but image will not be perfectly displayed okay so if you like this video please subscribe and like our channel thank you